Uh, hello, my name is Andrei. Uh, in this video, I will talk about uh, and explain how uh, Instructor and Olama is integrated together uh, to work uh, to to be able to extract invoice data and how this runs in Instructor agent uh, within Sparrow. So this is the agent implementation class, and this is the main uh, interface method run pipeline. Uh, for the agent, and then if you look uh, down in the code, uh, so first we check uh, which options were provided in API or command line call for the agent. If you would like to use uh, additional Sparrow parse library functionality for the table structure parsing, and if tables option is being passed through the uh, command line or API, then uh, this additional logic will be implemented to where uh, data will be uh, extracted and parsed by Sparrow parse, and then uh, in, por in, in several parts it will be uh, uh, processed by LLM uh, and uh, for the form data and for the table data it will be processed directly by uh, Sparrow parse if uh, the structure is uh, possible to operate with. But this is another topic. Today I'm focusing on, uh, on Olama and uh, Instructor. Okay, so if, let's say, we don't have uh, those additional options for the table processing, they were not set. So we come to this uh, block here. And we're using unstructured uh, processor from Sparrow Parse. And unstructured processor by default uh, returns uh, uh, form data, and uh, if uh, uh, it is able to detect uh, table structure, then table structure will be represented uh, in HTML format with HTML tags. And all this functionality is wrapped into the Sparrow parse library. And uh, for the unstructured uh, processor, we're using unstructured library uh, with the help of that library, uh, reading the text data from PDF, and as I said before, uh, there will be either form data, which is like a raw text, basically, and if the table structure is being detected, then a structure will uh, return to us a table uh, wrapped into the HTML, uh, HTML table format. Sometimes it works, uh, often it doesn't work, uh, it depends on the layout of the document, uh, especially with more complex tables, uh, uh, you may get a lot of junk and so on. And uh, this is what we do also in Sparrow Parse. We clean up uh, all the junk which is returned uh, by unstructured library, uh, like multiple headers or missing columns and so on. And then we try to extract the data. Uh, but sometimes uh, the structure of the table is completely unreadable. For example, then we report that this kind of table cannot be processed. So it, it depends. And definitely this is the area where more improvement will be implemented in the future for more reliable and robust table structure processing. Okay, so we got the data here uh, from a structure processor. So basically the text array. Uh, with raw text for form data and possibly HTML structure for the table data. Then we uh, uh, call uh, another method called execute. And this is method is available over here. So we pass here query inputs, query types, content, which was uh, coming from the Sparrow parse, the query itself, and some additional uh, options here. So uh, what we do in the next step, we create a dynamic PyDenti class to describe a response model which you would expect based on the query inputs and qu query types. So if you look here, in this example of the query execution, we can see that we pass names of uh, fields that we would like to extract and then we pass uh, types uh, for those fields. So there are two list uh, list types and, and string. Okay, so we got uh, response model class and in next step we call execute query. This is the uh, method where uh, instructor comes uh, to the, into the play. 
So you pass here query content and content again to remind you this is uh, <coughs> the the text that we got from the Sparrow parse. <coughs> then we get uh, a response model class which uh, was constructed one st step before. And what we have here is raising constructor from OpenAI and uh, we simply substitute uh, URL with the local uh, URL where Olama is running. So we're not using any OpenAI here, it's just the uh, wrapper method is called uh, this way, but we re really we are uh, sending uh, all the uh, requests to the local Olama instance to execute all the requests on the local LLM. Then we specify here that we would like to return back JSON. And this is where actual call definition happens. We specify the model which will be used uh, by Olama to process the request. And this is the message. We say that uh, we, we include here or inject the query, which is basically it will be a retrieve and a keyword name retrieve and all the names of the fields that we would like to fetch. So here we'll, we'll get all the fields of the uh, query uh, from the following content. And the content is the content, like I mentioned before, which uh, was constructed by Sparrow Parse Library. Uh, and by default, we've unstructured. But uh, if we do uh, table processing, uh, then there is option to specify markdown as well. So we may get. Uh, uh, we may edit PDF text and convert it to the markdown, and then we'll use this markdown test text with LLM. And to say if query field value is missing uh, in response, then we return none. And for the response model, we specify uh, dynamic uh, identity class, which you constructed one step before. And yeah, basically that's it. And then we can expect. Uh, uh, if uh, can expect uh, to get the response based on the query. Uh, and if the data pre-processed uh, well, and if the data here in, uh, in the content variable is quite clean and well structured, uh, this means uh, in case uh, if Sparrow Parse did a good job, it was able to understand the layout of the document and uh, the relationships are quite clean and uh, uh, table representation with HTML is uh, well structured, then we have a high chances that um, LLM will produce uh, good results as well. So pre-processing step is very important. And if you look into the actual example here, so we execute the query, we pass the agent name instructor and we pass the file path which we would like to process. And then this is what this is the response we get: the one list, second list, and uh, another field value here. And uh, we were not using any vector DB, or we were not using such frameworks like uh, Langchain or Llama Index. Uh, this means the agent implementation is quite lightweight, uh, without uh, heavy frameworks and uh, heavy dependencies, and uh, we rely uh, in this case on data pre-processing. So as much as more cleaner data, higher chances to get um, a better response. And data pre-processing is done uh, using Sparrow Parse library and uh, additional open source libraries, uh, like constructed in this case, or uh, uh, PDF for UML, or MLU, uh, MLU, I think it's called. In the future, we'll add a few more uh, libraries. Uh, then I'll mention them. And yeah, so the processing uh, uh, runs uh, just with the instructor and uh, local uh, LLM based on Olama. So thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, uh, this explanation inspired you to test out Sparrow and uh, try to implement uh, data extraction from the receipts, invoices, or other kind of uh, business documents. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.